Council Mark Ingle, leader of Harlow Council. We're at Bushycroft off Tawney's Road, so you must be pleased to see the first developments going in building, building what? Well, we're building 16 new council houses here, Michael. Um, two bedroom and three bedroom houses. And the important thing about that is, not only do 16 families get to move in here, but many of them will come from accommodation that's become too cramped for them, and therefore they'll create vacancies in smaller houses, which can be moved in by people from one bedroom flats, for example, who have outgrown those. So we can create here, I hope, up to 50 movements on our housing needs list, providing really decent, long-term secure housing for um, residents on Harlow's housing needs list. So you're referencing that a couple of times, that this housing needs list, is that people already on those lists, people who've been living in Harlow um, could get an opportunity to get these houses? Absolutely, every single one of them. Um, what's the time scale here? Um, the time scale is they will be delivered and people will be moving in within the next two years. Um, there was some controversy over this because there are people who bought houses here wanting to look over greenery and now they won't no longer be looking over greenery. Can you see their argument? Oh absolutely I can see their argument. We have committed to not build on any green wedge or any of Harlow's green fingers. They're precious, they were designed into the fabric of this town. This particular site isn't green wedge, it's not a green finger and uh, when they purchase their properties they sh they're, they're um, survey and their solicitor should have warned them that there was always a possibility this could be built on. But isn't every piece of green, now look, there's green behind you isn't there, isn't every bit of green precious and that's part of Harlow's character? You know that I'm a, a big advocate for keeping Harlow clean and green but I'm also a big advocate for um, creating decent long-term secure housing for people um, that they can truly afford and that means we have to build and the borders of Harlow are drawn very tightly around the town so if we're going to provide the housing that's so desperately needed we're going to have to find sites as I say this isn't a green wedge this isn't a green finger I do fully understand um, the uh, sadness that people who walk their dogs on this field for example um, feel but I think and I hope they understand that the need for um, housing is uh, that important. There's people who parked here and live nearby. Where are they parking now? Well, what we've done is every house that's immediately adjacent to this site, we've issued them with um, a free parking permit so they can park um, 500 yards down the road at the Bush Fair car park free all day and all night without any issue. We've also, um, it's also mainly used, I suppose, by the parents of William Martin. We've um, been working with the school to communicate with all the parents, asking them to park in the Bush Fair car park because you can get an hour's free parking there, whoever you are, and walk the last 500 yards here to school. And we've had some um, community, a community safety team here um, offering advice and directing people this morning. Just going back to the housing for a second, do you not feel like David against Goliath? You know, the seven to 16 houses here and there against the 10, eight to 10,000 houses in different areas, which will be, you know, which will be expensive housing. You know, not for, you know, maybe it's gonna be a struggle for some people in Harlow to get that step on the ladder. I um, mean, if you're asking me, do I think the government should be contributing more uh, funds in order to make some of these big housing schemes um, far more affordable and actually perhaps even um, investing in some of the land and some of the property to give to councils to develop? Absolutely, I do. But look, these 16 houses are 16 of 82 that we're going to deliver in the next two years. And in the last two years, we delivered 49 new council houses. And on top of that, working with our partners, we delivered 200 affordable houses in the last two years. So um, we're working really hard and we are delivering affordable housing for the residents of Harlem.